Bye-bye. Absolutely. And that wraps up Crime for News at 5. But we have a lot more ahead on Crime for News at 6. Stay with us. In order for small businesses to thrive, they need to be smart, efficient, and savvy, making the most of every opportunity. That's why Comcast Business is introducing the Small Business Bonus. For a limited time, you can get up to a $1,000 prepaid card with a qualifying gig bundle. Yep, $1,000. So switch to business internet from the company with the largest, fastest, reliable network and that powers more businesses than anyone else. Learn how you can get $1,000 back for your business. Call or go online today. Saturday. It all tips off December 2nd. Download the Bay Area's favorite local news app, Cron On. From the Bay Area's local news station, begin now with breaking news. And that breaking news affecting thousands of people trying to get home tonight. BART service between San Francisco and Oakland is suspended because of a person reported to be on the tracks. Good evening, everybody. Thanks for joining us on Cron 4 News at 6. I'm Vicki Liviakis. I'm Ken Wayne. As we just showed you, the Embarcadero uh, BART station is packed right now because people can't really get anywhere. Cron 4's Dan Thorne is live at the Embarcadero, sta uh, Embarcadero station, which, of course, Dan, is the last stop in San Francisco before you go into the trans tube. Uh, tell us what's going on there. Mm. I don't think we have Dan. Dan? Mm. Yeah, we should be trying to get communication with Dan now shortly. He is underground at the Embarcadero station, so uh, tough to hear him right now. But again, Transbay service from uh, from on BART tonight uh, between Oakland and uh, San Francisco has been suspended. Uh, we have reports that a person is on the tracks, so uh, we will certainly update you as we get more information. And people are, are told that uh, they should consider, here's the scene at the Embarcadero BART station. You see nobody's going anywhere there's a lot of people trying to wait and find out what's going on uh people are advised to if they can since if you're spe especially if you're at the embarcadero station you go outside and try to catch a ferry to go across the bay that's probably the the best option or you can take a, a bus uber. A, a uber or a bus from the uh the trans bay terminal uh, to try to get across as well but uh once again once we get dan thorne back uh get him on the phone we'll find out exactly what's happening if there's a time estimate on when we're going to be able to see bart open again okay we have more breaking news at this hour henry kissinger the former secretary of state has died uh born in germany on uh, May of 1923, Kissinger remains mostly known for his key role in American foreign policy in the 1960s and the 70s, including eventual attempts to pull the U.S. out of Vietnam, but not before he became uh, linked to many of the conflict's um, most disputed actions. He was accused of orchestrating the expansion uh, into Laos and Cambodia, enabling the rise of uh, the Khmer Rouge uh, regime that uh, killed an estimated two million Cambodians. Kissinger served as Secretary of State under Presidents Richard Nixon and Gerald Ford. He was 100 years old. Developing news we're following tonight here at home out of the East Bay. That's where the Martinez Refining Company is experiencing yet another flaring incident. Here's video from the Citizen app. The refining company says this is a normal part of operations. However, it also says it did notify all relevant agencies about the air quality there. This comes just two days after a flaring at another refinery, the Chevron refinery in Richmond. We'll continue to monitor this flaring and bring you any updates as they come in. Mm -hmm. The Martinez Refining Company is also facing a class action lawsuit. Those filed by two residents accusing the refining company of repeatedly releasing toxic chemicals into the community without proper warning. 
The attorney representing the plaintiffs say the toxic dust landed on cars and gardens without notice last November and at least three times since then, creating a public nuisance. The lawsuit demands MRC, the company, implement medical and environmental monitoring systems to provide residents access to health care services if they feel they're affected by releases of toxic dust and ensure that they will be properly notified if those events occur. FBI and other federal agencies are out.